Well, it's been quite a while. G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. And it's a weird setup, it's a weird setup. Um, but today, I'm back, I've risen from the dead, haven't posted a video since round one. And right now, it's round five, Friday of round five. And um, I'm currently on holiday in Perth. Um, Sunday is the West Coast Eagles game day. I will be vlogging it. Be ready. It will probably be out maybe either late Monday or probably out on the Tuesday sometime. Um, but, but yeah, today I am going to be going over the preview for the West Coast Eagles taking on the Richmond Tigers. Let's just go straight into the preview for West Coast taking on the Richmond Tigers. Now, we're just going to go through the main information on this game first. Um, it's at Optus Stadium on the Sunday at 2pm. Um, round 5, of course. Um, and the ins and outs here. This is what I really love the most. Tyler Brockman is in for the West Coast Eagles. Tyler Brockman, an absolute magician. He's basically Liam Ryan. He's filling in for Liam Ryan's shoes. Locke Rollingson, who had an amazing debut, is unfortunately out. Even though he had a good debut, I don't. I think Simo was just like, nah, I don't think he got what it takes to take on Richmond. You've got to get out of the team. Um... Richmond, no. They've got one big name that's coming in. Um, they've got Liam Baker coming back in and also Hugo Ralph-Smith. And the outs here, one of them is a very, very good out. And I'm proud of it. I'm happy about it. Um, Jack Ross is out with an injury. And so is Tim Taranto. Tim Taranto is out due to, I'm pretty sure it's a wrist injury um, that he's done. I'm pretty sure i got a wrist injury right now because it's in sharp in pain. Um, but yeah, honestly, what about the chances? We need, I really want us to win. What about the chances though? Me, first game of the year, soon as I go to my first game, we have good odds of winning. And Tim Taranto being out is giving us better odds. Um, the last five matches that we have played this year, well, we are in, West Coast have only played four. Um, Richmond have only won one game out of their last five. And we have lost all four of our games. Hopefully, that can change today. I mean, not today. Sunday, when we go, when we maybe go one and four in the first five games of our season. All right, let's go through our previous matchups. Obviously, last year um, we played them at Optus Stadium on the 16th of July. Um, I'd say kind of around the same time, but actually, no, never mind. Not really around the same time. This was round 18. Um, West Coast ended up losing to Richmond by 38 points, but at the same time, Richmond, they were a very, very good side going into that last end of the season. Um, West Coast, we were, without, we were just on our plummeting stage. Um, we were on our losing streak, and we didn't even start winning a game until um, about round 20 when we versed the North Melbourne Kangaroos, and then, yeah, we kind of got a little bit of a winning streak, kind of got a little performance. Um... Lots of other... Richmond are 14th. Not really surprised. They're fourth. They have to be somewhere up the ladder. We're last on the ladder. We're currently the Wooden Spoons. If the season were to end right here, we would be the Wooden Spoons. Or we would be 17th and North Melbourne or I'm pretty sure it is... Yeah, North Melbourne would be last on the ladder. Um, but let's have a look at our last game. I should have spoke about this before, though. Let's just have a look at our last game. Um, West Coast taking on Sydney. As a West Coast fan, I was so proud of my club. Losing to the team that we got flogged last year by 171 points to this year, we actually kept a good fight. We lost by only 26 points. Um, lots and lots of good stars for our team, and one of the main stars had to have been Harley Reid. Harley Reid is one of our stars. He's an absolute gun. Um, got a couple of fantasy points as well in the bag. Um, um, he, he actually did very, very well. Um, although, Ryan Marrick. Let's talk about Ryan Marrick for a bit. He, very, very good game until I'm pretty sure it was the third quarter where he had that massive collision. And um, I heard that there was rumours um, about him having a fractured, a fractured ribs and also a possible punctured lung. But as, a, as going into this game, Ryan Marrick is still in the side. 
I don't know, I'm pretty sure, Simo said he's probably, he, 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 the hospital might have lied to him and said that he apparently is wound, wounded properly, um, but they lied to the whole AFL world really, so yeah, but what I really want to talk about is that second half, that second half for footy for us was so good, we put up a massive fight, even in the at half time break, we were in the lead by five points. <laughs> It's honestly, I thought it was, I thought, I thought, I thought I was honestly dreaming. I thought I was honestly dreaming. I thought I was living in unicorn world or something. Um, but obviously that second half, yeah, yeah, that second half looks very, very bad. Very, very ugly, that second half. Um, yes, at least we put a decent fight. At least it wasn't over 10 goals. Um, but going into this game, I'll even say my tip for this game as well, as well, because I haven't done the tips video since round one. Um, but let's go through the teams first of all. Um, the main matchup is obviously going to be Harley Reid and Dusty Martin. But what I'm looking at right now, Dusty Martin is on Josh Rotham. Probably one of the worst things. I reckon we should have put um, Reid there just to see an amazing matchup. Um, but Harley Reid versus Dustin Martin, Master versus Apprentice. Um, it's going to be a very, very good one. I, at least, I, I was happy about this. Once I saw the extended team, I was losing my crap. I saw Alex Willardin on the list, and I was just losing my mind. Alex Willardin should not be playing this week. If Alex, I was like, it's Alex Willardin is either on the entertainment bench or starting the game. We are done for. But... Luckily, he's in just an emergency sub, so we're good. We're very, very good. Um, alrighty. Now, the last thing to do in this video is just go through my tip for this week. Honestly, most people, I reckon, would have tipped the obvious out of the all obvious, um, but 12% of people disagree with those people. I have tipped the West Coast Eagles to win this game. I've got enough faith in us to be able to win this game. And hopefully we do. I've got lots and lots and lots of faith in winning this game. Hopefully we do. But let's just wait till Sunday. I'll see you guys in the match day vlog. Peace out.